welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Nur Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate, passionate, passionate program. And it is battle week on The Thunder Show. Two wines, similar, going head to head, mano a mano, little UFC, a little boxing action on The Thunder Show. Excited about that. Always fun to take two wines that are pretty much the same thing and put them against each other and really see who brings the thunder. So I'm really excited about that today. I'm also excited about a lot of things in general. Today's a big day because my New York Jets face the dreaded Miami Dolphins mod. Now, Pennington's out and we feel really bad for him because we're, we're pretty much fans. Mott, you can get over there. I mean, you know, we're not fans for him uh, anymore. We actually hate him because he's a dirty fish, but we do feel bad what happened to him. But I'm of the belief that they're a better team with Mr. Henny, um, Mott. And so of that nature, I'm very worried about this game tonight. But my official prediction, Jets 13, Dolphins 7. A lot of people think it's gonna be an easy game for the Jets. I know that Mr. Sanchez, who I love and I think is gonna be great, hasn't been playing as, you know, it wasn't just last week. Win, winning in spite of him a lot more than I think people know. So tonight a lot of people will see of course, Jets will go out and win 45 nothing. It'll be blah, blah. Anyway, last week I didn't do it. The week before I promised I'd do it all the time. I'm gonna tell you what Friday's show is gonna be. Here is Friday's show. It's gonna be a Chardonnay head to head. Uh, Mott, stick there for a little bit. I want people to know what it is. It's gonna be a Chardonnay rated value head to head. Uh, both these wines, the Calera 2008 Central Coast is $13 and is 90 points Parker and is widely available. And the Healdsburg Ranches, Ranch, uh, unoaked 07 Chardonnay, which is an 88 point spectator wine that rolls in at 12, uh, $10, right? 10, 10 bones. So pretty interesting battle coming up for Friday. Go out and try it. We'll have a lot of fun with it. Taste together on Friday, bring the friends over. You could do it Saturday or Sunday. I don't know why I'm doing this, I apologize. But it'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to tasting that together with you on Friday. But today we talk about Tarantis. And before we go there, I just wanna give a belated happy birthday to Parry Bennett, known as Parry B, and Frida uh, Castillo. Uh, happy belated birthday to you guys. And more importantly, Mott, link it up. Tomorrow I start my book tour. And I'll start in uh, Columbus uh, Circle in Manhattan tomorrow. Hope I see a bunch of you there. And uh, going all over the country, going to places I've never been, Montgomery, Alabama, Mott, uh, going, doing, you know, Seattle and Portland, doing all that stuff, which is awesome. Denver, Austin, Texas, uh, Virginia on Wednesday or Thursday, Boston this week. So please check that out. I'd hope to see you guys. Link that up, and the book comes out tomorrow. So I've been fairly quiet about it on this platform, like I promised. But if you've ever liked anything I've ever done, ever, please today or tomorrow, especially on the launch day, because I'd love to get to number one. The book comes out. I hope you pick it up. Holiday gifts for yourself. Appreciate it, that'll be that. And um, other than that, I hope I see a bunch of you at the super tasting tonight. So, let's get into the first wine. Ma, we are seeing the La, La Junta, 2008 Tarantes from La Rioja area. Uh, 10 bones, and it is going up against the Samanasi, 2009 Tarantes, which is seven bucks, which comes from Mendoza. So you can get a little bit of a difference, a little bit more dryness in this area. Uh, Tarantis DNA tests have been going on and does track back a little bit to the Malvasia grape. You also see Muscat type nose, so it's very aromatic. We've been talking a lot about it through the last two years and we've seen a lot of great things coming from them. And when you look on the color mod, you can see that the Simonasi is slightly darker. Are you picking up, up, can you see that? Is that coming through at, at all? Yes, this one. Yes, Can you see it slightly? Slightly darker. So that's the first thing uh, in the head-to-head -head battle. Let's give this a snippy sniff. The La Junta. Very aromatic. I get like white peaches coming through right off the bat. Um, some white flowers. Almost like white raspberry. Little mel mel melon. Melon coming through. Now on the Simonasi. More powerful nose. I, I get almost like a burnt wood component on the nose. Interesting, because it's unoaked. There's definitely a more intense nose coming through on the Saminasi. I get a little bit of a cantaloupe. 
much, much peachier on this nose, almost like passion fruit. Definitely more, it's fun to smell these side by side. Very, very, very different. Let's get into the La Yunta. Great acidity attacks you right away and then it disappears pretty quickly. Golden apple component coming through as well. Nice light drink from this Tarantis. Um, not too much going on on the mid palate. Golden apples and acidity really rule the day here. A little bit of an apricot play. Um, not too shabby. Saminasi, going back, a little darker. really disjointed and almost tastes like somebody dropped a little bug spray on the back end of the palate. The alcohol comes through as well and it's really almost not pleasant. I feel like somebody stuck their hand in my mouth and I wasn't happy about it. And just kind of like they worked on the car all day, stuck their hand in my mouth and I was like, dude, really? And they were like, sorry. You know, it was kind of one of those things. Um, and then on the La Yunta, um, it almost felt like there wasn't enough going on. This is actually a horrific start to battle week um, because neither of the, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like the 19th ranked person beat up the 33rd ranked person. Neither of these really did much. Um, I guess the La Junta is the lesser of the two evils, um, but clearly we've got issues at hand with the Tarantas, which is too bad because it's a varietal I want more people to explore. I think a lot of people would like them but I'm starting to see this trend off air, off air, like over here. Like when I'm not on the Thunder show, I've been having more and more difficulties with Tarantis in general. I have a feeling that because of the success of the varietal, more people starting to bring them in. Probably the last six or seven I've had between the eight and $12 range have not been good. And I'm starting to personally down, you know, get down, like, like, like down here. Like I'm starting to get down on Tarantis in general. And so I'm very, very disappointed with these two wines, especially in this glorious month. I mean, I'm pumped. I mean, the book tomorrow and the tour. Gonna see a ton of Vineyaks on tour and the game and so many Misha's just unbelievable. Big shout out to my heart and soul little Misha. She's reacting and things are happening. Life is good. Tarantis is bad. I'm gonna score the Samanasi a 71 and I'm gonna score the La Junta a 77 and give these both. I mean, both. This is double. A double has because, I'm just gonna leave some of the water to the flowers, because this is not interesting in any shape. Really bad wines to start the show, to start the week of the battles. I'm sorry, I apologize. Hopefully Fridays will be better because <laughs> if they're not, you guys are gonna all punch me in the face on tour for making you go out and buy them. But big prize, 90 Parker for 13 bucks. Dying to see what goes there. 13.7 Jets tonight. Question of the day. I noticed when I went outside today that it was a little more brisk. Ramat feels like, all right, now we're into the season. What wine are you looking forward to drinking this fall? Type, specific wine, what are you looking for? That's it, good show. Tight, I've been liking this new style. Just bad wine. You, with a little bit of me, we are changing the wine world.